There we go. <laughs> I almost clicked the wrong thing. All right, so we definitely want to continue. God, this game is really cute, by the way. I like, I love it. So, uh, I think we're heading back to town when I left off. So, obviously, we gotta continue this journey back to town. By the way, guys, this is a independently developed game. So, uh, if you're looking for a cute little game that's not super expensive, like $70 or something, I recommend this one. Also, let me double check. Is the audio pretty good? Let me adjust it. This game was super loud when I opened it and I had to adjust it a lot. <laughs> the Pea Dancer is a special toy for us. <laughs> ah, I'm, I'm assuming that multiple, that Glitchy also has a similar answer. Everyone's getting the fun toys, I guess. I think I'll guard. Oh, Allison missed. Let's do... Hey, Thane! Welcome to the stream, Thane! Happy Valentine's Day! Guys, please make sure to also check out Thane, another good streamer, also streams before me in the morning, so you'll definitely get to get more airtime with Thane than with me if it's later for you. How are you doing, Thane? You want to answer our question of the day? We're, we're answering what the weirdest things we've purchased are. Only, only good answer so far. <laughs> Warn them you swear too much? I probably should. I, I also swear a little bit, but it's usually just by accident. I don't usually think about it. It just slips out and I'm like, oops, oops, I'm trying to be trying to be comfy. And I'm just uh I'm just a little aggro inside sometimes. <laughs> weirdest purchase, yes. Yes, yes. You know, weirdest P the PG thirteen purchase or uh I mean just kinda imply what you purchased is what I've said to <laughs> some people. Should we avoid Paula? I know you two don't exactly get along. Nah, you can say hi if you want. It's not like she won't notice us. Let us just try to make it quick. Oh, good. It's you. And here I was, wondering if I'd get a solid half hour of peace and quiet in before my ship without anyone bothering me. Uh, <laughs> ah! <laughs> Thank you, Wes. Have a good night. Yeah, nice to see you too, Paula. So, Galetta, are the rumors true? The ones about you already giving up on that adventuring nonsense? Nope. It's going better than ever, actually. As a matter of fact, we just fended off a wild whole hound. Wow. Well, maybe next time you'll fight a real monster. Okay, Paula. Hold on, hold on one second. I have to sneeze. Okay, I think I think the sneeze is gone. I don't know if I was able to mute my mic. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Don't really purchase anything particularly weird. I can't think of anything that I purchased. I'm pretty sure I have once purchased something odd. Who started that rumor about me calling it quits anyway? Oh, that was me. Okay, Paula. Jeez, Paula's really rude. This is my girlfriend you're talking about. Be respectful. And why did you? You know what? Never mind. Just try not to miss me too much while I'm out becoming a famous hero. Yeah, I always cherish my many memories of you being late for your shifts and texting on the job while I did all the actual work. That's certainly one way of remembering it. But hey, I'll be sure to send you a card when you're hospitalized for getting stomped on by a dragon. Or whatever it is you went off to do. How thoughtful. Look, I'm just trying to be realistic. A slacker like you? 
I give it a week before you realize how tough it is out there. What else do you have in your crew? Amaranth here. Poor girl's gonna have a heart attack the first time you run into something big. Higsby? I can't believe you trust her. Typical magic user, massive ego, huge magnet for trouble. She'll probably just stab you in the back. Caldwell's cool, but I don't know how the hell you convinced her to look after a bunch of newbies. Y'all can pretend all you want. You can take shortcuts. But what you're trying to do takes real talent. And you can only pretend to have talent for so long. But yeah, you have fun with your little LARPing club. Bring me back a souvenir. Well, look at the time. Well, it's been fun, Paula, but Melanie and I have prior engagements, so... Sure, scram. She's a little, uh, rough around the edges. What do you- do you guys think that she's, like, being sincere, or is she trying to show that she's, like, uh, a little worried about us? It's hard to tell. It could go either way, I think. So, anyone celebrating any plans today for Valentine's Day other than, uh, <laughs> watching me? <laughs> I know I'm, I make a really great date. <laughs> Valentine's is over in 40 minutes. Well, did <laughs> Okay, fair enough, Madifer. Well, did you do anything for Valentine's Day? <laughs> hey, you two, over here. I forgot a voice I gave her. I don't think I really care anymore. I'm, I don't think I can give voices. I'm not very good at them. Well, it's Valentine's Day? Didn't even know it. <laughs> it's single awareness day, I mean. That's what I meant. What's up, Beverly? You two seem like you could go for a slice of cake. What makes you say that? I'm just very perceptive, Melody. I can tell these things. Also, I've got people leftover chocolate cake in the fridge and would rather share it with friends and throw it out tomorrow. What do you think, Mel? Yeah, that sounds nice. Let's treat ourselves. Sat at home all day and played video games. That's a, that's a great way to spend Valentine's Day. Great! Let's head inside. I'll probably do that with Kurt later when she's out from work. Here we are! Oh, this is a cute place. Two slices of chocolate cake for the lovely couple. Enjoy! Wow, I'm having a Valentine's Day date. It's right here, in the game. Perfect. You sure you don't want us to pay for this? Oh no, it's on the house. I probably owed one of you a favor anyway. Thank you, Beverly. I'll leave you two alone, then. Holler if you need me. You know, if we were a real couple, we'd be sitting here drinking one milkshake with two straws. Do you want to ask for a milkshake? You can just have a milkshake if you want one. Oh, no, no. That would be way too much sugar, even for me. So, what you been up to lately? If you still ate chocolate, you would have taken advantage of the discounted chocolate? <laughs> yeah. That's usually what I do after Valentine's Day, is I go and buy out all the chocolate. There was one, actually, because my birthday is very close to Valentine's Day, um, I had one year where all I got for my birthday was chocolate, and it was pretty cool, but I also could not eat chocolate for, like, a while after that. I ate way too much chocolate in one sitting. So, what you been up to lately? It's been a while since we, you know, talked. I've mostly been studying all that material and healing magic that Claire gave me. Lots of little mana management exercises, deep breathing, focusing your thoughts on spells, that sort of stuff. Nice! Bet you could have done some of that studying with me, you know. I know. I'm sorry I haven't been around lately. I just... I don't know. <laughs> no, come on. Talk to me, Mel. I guess it just felt like... People would think I wasn't taking it seriously enough if I didn't get at least a simple healing spell or two down before showing my face again. I wanted everyone to see that I really am trying my hardest. I mean, I admire your commitment, and I'm really impressed that by that healing spell you used on me. It kind of felt like the fresh, tingly sensation you get after rinsing with mouthwash. 
You only eat dark chocolate now. <laughs> I do like dark chocolate. I think dark chocolate is definitely one of my favorite forms of chocolate. My teeth are a little sensitive, though. So it's hard for me to eat to like anything that's a little too concentrated. I think dark chocolate is a bit concentrated. Although ch chocolate in general is just very sugary. It's like after Halloween, all the chocolate and candies on huge shelves. Yeah, exactly. I love all the leftover chocolate. I just like to have it in the house so that whenever I feel snacky, I just get a little piece of Valentine's Day chocolate and I have a little, little snack. But you do know everyone's got your back, right? You don't have to prove anything to anyone. Oh no. It's, well, it's complicated. Mm, explain. Everyone's so encouraging. Well, everyone except Paula, I guess. But are they just saying that because they're our friends? Like, they don't know I'll succeed. They can't see the future. And I've never done anything like this before. They're just trying to be supportive. And part of me thinks all the support means I have a lot to live up to now. And I'll let everyone down if this doesn't work out. But it's not like I want everyone to tell me that they think I'll fail, you know? So, it's complicated. Melody. Hey, baby Kiba, how are you doing? Having a good day? Happy Valentine's Day. Can't even have a can of regular soda without feeling sick. Wow, your sugar tolerance has really calmed down, Matifer. I don't know how I could, if I could ever do that. I'd be really sad if I couldn't have soda. I'm having soda right now, actually. Sip. Mmm, the taste of Coke. <laughs> My button. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm just overthinking things. Ignore me. What about you? Have you gotten much training done? Eh, not really. Claire says at a certain point I'll only get better at fighting monsters, but you know, fighting monsters. Sugar-free soda ain't that bad, at least. <laughs> I guess that's true. I could, and I myself don't like it, but I'm still a sugar freak a little bit. I think uh, Kurt. Kurt is less of a sugar freak than me. Uh, prefers diet soda. Maybe someday that'll be me. But I'm st I'm still chugging along the sugar train for now. I haven't had a chance to go on another expedition or anything. And a whole hound or two aside, there aren't a lot of monsters to fight around town. It's too bad that Faith and the Paladin Brigade are so good at their jobs, huh? Just made food for the house? Nice. What you make? Hey, yeah. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably tell you the big news. Brace yourself for this one. I'm braced. I quit my job! Yep, no more working my butt off chopping down trees for minimum wage. Put in my two weeks notice, uh, two weeks ago now, actually. Which means I can focus on adventuring full time. Nice! If Getsy really got a good feeling about this guild thing, huh? I mean, I really... I, I really do. I mean, why shouldn't I? I know it's a risk, but if this works out, I'll be making way more money than at my old job. And even if it's hard work, I'll be doing something fun with my friends and with the love of my life. Aww. Oh, speaking of the guild, have you seen Claire lately? Jody said she's been working on some kind of project. Yeah, no idea what's up with that. Claire never tells me anything. You know how she can be. I thought you said no guild business today, though. Well, I'd at least like to tell her about the progress I've made. Fair enough. Hey, Beverly, what about you? Any idea what, Cla what Claire's been up to? I don't know. All that magic stuff Claire gets up to is way over my head. But I'm sure if it's something cool, knowing her. I'm not sure if knowing it involves magic makes me more or less concerned. I'd try asking Jody if I were you. Oh well, thanks for the cake, Beverly. It was great as always. You're welcome. Where are you two headed off to now? Not sure. We hadn't really thought that far ahead. Why do you ask? Well, Claire said something about you getting special magic healing powers from the power of love or something like that. Is that true? More or less. Wow. What'll I think of next? Hmm. Maybe something wild like, uh, capitalism. <laughs> oh god, I hope not. 
Anyway, Claire asked me to keep an eye on you two. Make sure everything's hunky-dory with your relationship to make sure your magic keeps working. Um, thanks, Claire? Is Claire worried that me and Addison are gonna break up? That's never gonna happen. That's a little weird. Oh shoot, I got her name wrong. It's Allison. Oh no, oh no. This is already the start of the end for us. <laughs> Everything's cool though. You don't have anything to worry about. I don't know, Addison just sounds very action packed to me. <laughs> Maybe that's why I got it. I thought so. But hey, if you never need someone to talk to, I'll be around. Maybe I should go ask Jody what Claire's up to, just to have some peace of mind. I'm gonna be sad if we break up. <laughs> Ooh. Man, all those baked goods look really... Well, good. You realize we just had cake for lunch, right? That doesn't mean I can't look forward to my next dessert. Also, shouldn't you be careful around chocolate? Isn't that stuff super poisonous to canids? Oh no, it's fine. That's only true for regular canids, not beast folk. How do you not know this? How long have we been dating? <laughs> have I never eaten chocolate cake in front of you? <laughs> Doesn't look like there's any jobs on the notice board today. I guess we'll have to check again tomorrow. I'd be very sad if I could not have chocolate. Oh, there's Jody. Let me save really quick, though. It's always good to save when you have an opportunity. Well, that's a relief. What is? You two are spending time together. I've been pretty worried about Allison lately. What are you talking about, Jody? I've been perfectly fine. If by perfectly fine you mean starve for attention because your girlfriend was ignoring you, then sure. You say that as if I'm not always looking for attention. Oh no, glitchy! No! Glitchy! <laughs> oh, the chocolate. Chocolate takes another victim. <laughs> Allison, if you miss me so much, why didn't you just come over to my place? You know, that's a good question. Thank you. You're welcome, babe. If you two lovebirds don't need me anymore, I'm just gonna get back to what I was doing. Sitting here, chilling, being epic. You were doing nothing, Jody. Have you seen Claire? Who's Faith? How come you're not with Faith? Who's Faith? How come you're not hanging out with Faith? It's so rare to see her get this much free time. She wanted to do a little painting, so I figured I- Oh, that's right, Faith is the, uh, the town, town mayor guard person. <laughs> She wanted to do a little painting, so I figured I'd let her have some space. I mean, it's not like we have to hang out all the time. I understand she's a busy person. I just appreciate the time I managed to spend with her, and the rest of the time I let her li live her own life. Wow, Jody, that's... Smart? Emotionally mature? No, it's proof that Mel and I are Greenridge's true power couple. Okay, so Jody's not with Claire. Jody is with Faith. Got it. No, we're learning. We're learning all the relationships. This is the most important part, is knowing who's dating each other. Up top, Mel. Yeah, that's right. We're a top lesbian. Have you seen Claire? Nope. She says she's busy with some sort of top secret, very important guild project. One that she didn't want my help with. Aren't you a little concerned about what Claire's up to? Maybe. But I'm sure she knows what she's doing. Jody, sometimes I worry you let Claire get away with too much. What do you mean? How about the time she accidentally cast a spell that swapped your arms with your legs? Hey, magic's tricky. She fixed it and learned from her mistake, and that's all that matters. That sounds like a pretty concerning mistake to make, though. <laughs> I guess that's it's good, but, um, okay... What about the time Province was trying to give a speech and her mic wasn't working? Oh yeah, didn't she try to cast a volume increasing spell on Province? But it was way too loud and it wouldn't wear off for 48 hours? Yeah, and Province tried to keep quiet, but of course Holly and Rhett- Holly and Rhett kept trying to get a rise out of her because they thought it was hilarious. Actually, that was pretty funny in hindsight. Listen, I'm Claire's roommate, not her mother. She's also an adult. It's not my job to discipline her or anything. I mean, come on. We all make mistakes. Once I was trying to practice this force shield spell with Faith, except I actually made it way too big and it smashed right through the wall in her office. <laughs> wow, I didn't even know about that. 
I'm gonna have to remember that one for the next time you rag on me for breaking stuff. Yeah, great. Look, all I'm trying to say is Claire needs someone to be supportive of her and her ambitions. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure I saw Claire looking for something in your basement, Allison. She's been down there a while, though. We should probably go check on that. See you later, Jody. Alright, um... Why are you in the basement? I think this is Allison's, right? Where is your basement? How do you get in your basement? Oh, right. There's a thing. Of course. I'm stupid. <laughs> There's a basement door. I don't know how basements work, guys. I've never had one. What's this? Another save? Okay. Might as well. What's in here? Ooh, gnarly. What else is, what else have we got? I don't remember what's in these boxes. Let's see if there's something cool in there. Allison, don't you know it's in your own basement? You gotta have some mysteries in your life, Mel. It keeps things interesting. Tubular. Generally, basements are cold and humid, I think. That would make sense. They are underground. I think uh, underground stuff tends to be cooler than above ground. Claire, what? Why are my basement's walls covered in trash? I can assure you, it is not trash. I like the lights. They're best. How long have you been in my basement? What are you even doing down here? Listen, I'm sure you have a lot of questions. And I can answer those questions if you have some free time and think you're ready for something special. We're ready, yeah. Depending on the place, full of deliciously radioactive ray. <laughs> what? I thought that they're supposed to protect you. Or don't people usually turn basements into like shelters, false like fallout shelters? <laughs> Feels like the opposite of what you want. I guess we're ready. What are we ready for exactly? Wonderful. All you need to know is that your basement is now the entrance to. <laughs> a dungeon! Oh, okay. I thought it was Adun Gion. <laughs> that makes more sense. Uh, why did... I guess that is 4x4. Four four. It's just very weird spacing. What? Oh, Claire. What have you done? <laughs> oh, dear. See, as your new guild master, it's my responsibility to give the two of you a proper education when it comes to adventuring. Our previous attempts have been interesting, but it was obvious we needed to start smaller. I needed a controlled subterranean environment to really replicate that authentic dungeon experience in a more accessible manner. And in case you hadn't noticed, this is the only house in the neighborhood with a basement. And now, none of the houses will have one because I turned this one into a dungeon! So now your house has this cool underground labyrinth that we get to explore together, as a team. It'll be so much fun. Claire, just because you're my new boss or whatever doesn't mean you get to bust in my basement and do some radical remodeling. Okay, first of all, you hardly use this basement. Let's be real. This place is a rental! How am I supposed to explain this to my landlord? I'm sure they'll see that this adds a lot of value to the property. Look at all this extra square footage. And where the hell did you put my stuff, huh? It's... It's around here somewhere. I may have put it in hammer space storage or something, I don't know. Thanks, Claire. I don't even know what to say. How about- Wow, thanks, Claire. You sure did put a lot of effort into handing us our first adventure on a silver platter. Okay, this is... A lot, but let's all just stop and take a deep breath, okay? No yelling. Melody, what about you? Isn't this perfect for you? You get to do your training right from the comfort of your own girlfriend's home. Well, underneath it. You've been practicing those spells I gave you, right? Don't you want a chance to show them off? Come on, this'll be fun. Um... I guess it's worth a shot. Right? Wow, this is a lot easier to sell you on than I thought. 
I mean, you can't undo it kit right now, can you? I mean, if we're adventurous now, we've got to start somewhere. That's the spirit. Plus, I mean, either way, I'm going to need someone to help me clear out the evil monsters I summoned here with dark magics. Wait, monsters? Real monsters? Well, realish. They're more like dark constructs, I guess? They still put up a fight, though. Hmm. I do like fighting. Okay, you got Allison on board. <laughs> you know the magic words. Okay, fine. I'm still not crazy about this basement dungeon idea, but I've been dying to see some action. Just make sure you put everything back to normal later. I don't need rowdy basement monsters trying to eat my face in the middle of the night or whatever. I'll put it on my to-do list. Anyway, I was waiting for Jody to show up before starting, but you know what? I think we can handle this on our own. It'll just be three pals on a fun-filled dungeon adventure. Are you really sure that's a good idea? Come on, what's the worst that could happen? Claire dudes the <laughs> Claire <laughs> dudes the planet. <laughs> they all escape and spill out into the world. This is the start of the, of the bigger video game. Oh, actually, could we postpone? We're kind of a, on a date or whatever. More or less. I mean, unless you're okay with being a third wheel. I don't really care. Claire joined the party as a third wheel. Thanks, Claire. <laughs> okay, but fair warning, I could start macking on my girl at any time. No, really? You don't say? She's primarily driven by impulse, Claire. Sure. Some real hardcore tonsil honky if you catch my drift. Okay, that might be an exaggeration. Listen, you two are making it weird now, just so you know. Can we go? Claire, you're hoarding it on our Valentine's Day date. This is only- this is your fault. Swap and spit? I get it, Allison. Planting a big smacker? Smoochin? This is your revenge for me trashing your basement, isn't it? Face sucking? <laughs> Locking lips? Puckering up? Watching submarine races? <laughs> Wait, what? What is that supposed to mean? Watching submarine races? Can we just go already? <laughs> I've never heard that one. I'm gonna have to use that one. <laughs> hey, Kurt, you wanna watch submarines race with me? <laughs> oh, and if you guys feel like this is too rough, there's always plan B. Summon Jody and have her finish everything off. Just open up the inventory and use difficulty selector in your key items to enable easy mode. Wait, can I turn on hard mode? Wait, hold on, I have to know if they're, um, item? Oh, okay. That's nice that I can boost my stats with that. <gasps> oh, they're cute! <laughs> oh, all the monsters are so cute in this game, I feel bad trying to kill them. Ooh, oh, there's an animation for it burning. Claire, why did you think it was a good idea to light it on fire? Huh, it kind of looks like its demonic side is coming out. Well, you learn something new every day. Okay, that was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. <laughs> oh, gosh. Heal. <laughs> I thought that it was a good thing to burn it, but I guess not. <laughs> Oh, Claire does not do a lot of attack damage, other than her spells. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, so she can restore MP. That's nice. Let me try that. That's very helpful, actually. So I don't need to conserve Claire's MP2 too much. Nice. Dive bomb. Wow. Allison has a lot of skills. Oh, definitely want to hang on to that. This is a very nice basement dungeon, though. Look at all the pretty lights. It must have taken a lot of work to make it like this nice. Ooh, chest. Dust Bunny Sage. <laughs> is that wearing one of Allison's shirts? <laughs> I want to set on fire just to see what happens. <laughs> Okay, this one does not have an- oh, there we go. Now it's demonic. <laughs> Little demon. <laughs> nice, a crit hit. I was just getting started. Oh, a key! Nice! Oh, even the keys are cardboard. Oh, <laughs> that is cute. Hey, if you think you can make a better dungeon with real locks and keys, then be my guest. I wasn't criticizing. I thought it was cute. Need two keys. Okay. Well, I might as well save. Wait, hold on. Kisses three. Huh. Interesting. I didn't realize. it's. It says the number of kisses between us, I guess? Interest. I need to check that. I guess um, I'm going to kiss Allison and see what happens. Save that up's number. Mwah. This is Valentine's Day. We got to get all the kisses in. Time to max out the kisses counter. Yeah, we gotta get all the kisses in. Every kiss. Only kiss. Let's try this dive bomb. Ooh, that was a strong attack. Great job, team. Ah, another level up. I believe level ups don't reset my MP, yeah, so I still have that much. But I have a lot of ether, so I'm good. Oh yeah, so let's see, where did I come from? Down over here? Oh no, wait. Where did it come from? I'm lost. Was it up here? So let's see. Is it now... It says three kisses still. Oh no, now it's four. Okay. So it does count the number of times I kiss her. That's probably important for something. <laughs> you fell asleep in your chair? Alright, no problem, Madden For Yeah, you sound very sleepy. Have a good sleep. Catch you at your next stream, hopefully. And I will. Don't worry. I will be hella gay all the way. Really, Claire? Only ten gold? Money doesn't grow on trees, you know. Actually, couldn't you use mud money? <laughs> Actually, couldn't you use magic to plant a money tree or something? I almost tried that once, but it turns out it's considered counterfeiting and it's very illegal. Who knew? It's just, if you're only going to put ten gold in there, why even bother putting a chest here? The chest itself is probably worth more. Actually, hey, can we just take the chest? Please don't. Look, okay, here's a spare potion I was keeping in case of emergencies. Happy now? Thank you. You were keeping secret potions? I- you really think I'd let two of my best friends get horribly main in a dungeon, would you? Wow, thanks for the vote of confidence, guys. 
<laughs> Claire's just like, it's not like I make dungeons that are dangerous, right? Um, I can go that way or this way. Let's go this way. Tip. Tip, fleeing from battle. You may sometimes feel overwhelmed by foes you encounter. At times like this, you can flee from most battles by pressing cancel. Our boss little foes will usually prevent you from fleeing. Always be prepared for a fight. Alright. Nice. Okay, great. That's both keys. We can move on to the end of the dungeon now. You know, I have to admit, I'm actually kind of having fun here, Claire. Good. I've worked really hard on all this. Yeah, it's really cool down here. I, I think maybe you should keep all this extra space, Allison. It's pretty epic. And we're killing all the monsters, so... You gotta kiss Allison, of course. That's the first thing you gotta do in every battle, is kiss Allison. Very important. Ah! Oh dear. Uh oh. Let me restore my own MP actually. I can restore my own MP by healing. Gotta heal my girlfriend. Oh, it's over? Oh, hey, treasure. Oh, a picnic set. That's cute. Wow, how nice of you to provide refreshments in your dungeon, Glare. That's enough to heal all of us at a pinch, so be sure to use it wisely. Also, remember that we can't use the picnic set while in the middle of a fight. I mean, it's your dungeon, Glare. Couldn't you just make the monsters wait for us to have our snacks? That depends. Can you eat a whole meal in six seconds? Is that a challenge? Please don't ruin this lovely picnic set I bought by trying to scarf it down in one combat turn. All right. Yeah, the kisses increase. Well, we got two keys. What now? Oh, I guess it's open now. Okay, this is it, you two. The final battle. What's in there will put your skills to the test more than anything we've faced so far. Oh dear. I hope you two are ready for a tussle. A tussle? Really? Well, what's wrong with calling it a tussle? Well, the way you've hyped this up, it sounds like a little bit more than a tussle. Maybe a brawl? What about a fracas? Can we just get this over with? The monsters are itching for a tussle. Okay, now you're just being difficult. You know what? Recycling Christmas lights as basement lights seems like a good idea. Yeah, true. I mean, what are you're only gonna use them once a year. They need to get some use out of them. Although then that also falls into question that you should be careful what Christmas lights to use because most people only actually expect you to use them once a year. And so maybe they don't uh, last as long as other lights. I'm always being difficult. Alright, box. Okay, here we go. My first chance to show you two what I've got. Don't blink, you guys. I'm gonna take this all on my own. Kinda need those fancy LED ones. Oh, big dust bunny. He's got a big box. Alright. Well, first, I gotta kiss Allison. B. 
big chonker. I wonder if he's sitting on the box or if his body is the box. This really is a big chonker. Look at all his health. My goodness! <laughs> His body was not the box, it was inside the box! <laughs> yeah, he is definitely a chonker glitchy. I gotta really heal, flare up. Really targeting down Claire. Perfect. That is the perfect set of emotes for him. It looks just like him. Oh, so close. So close. Okay, give her another smooch. Smooch! He's been defeated. Goodbye. We have brought down a titan. Oh, nice. Some levels up. Learned yoink. <laughs> Allison has so many skills. Oh, cool. We found some stuff. A cardboard box. Sweet. Found a Zircon Saber. A sword. Wait, hold on. Wait. <laughs> that took way too long for you to do. This thing looks sick. Go ahead and take it, Allison. Did you leave this here just for me? That's actually really nice of you. Yeah, that's very thoughtful gift, Claire. I pulled some strings to get some nice treasure for the dungeon. I mean, I could have kept it for myself, but fighting with swords is so uncouth compared to pyrokinesis. I am so happy that I'm not even going to complain about how stupid that comment was. Actually, the sword is supposed to be enchanted, but it looks like the gem in the hilt isn't the original. So right now it's just a normal sword. Which is probably why I got it for so cheap. But hey, maybe we'll find a replacement gem when we go on some real adventures. Now we're talking! Do you really think we're ready for that? Sure. You two got through my dungeon just fine. A real one would only be... Marginally more life-threatening. Marginally? Hey, don't worry, Mel. No clown's gonna get hurt. No clown's gonna hurt my girlfriend on my watch. Promise. Loon. <laughs> there usually aren't clowns. We should probably head outside ASAP, though. I'm not entirely sure how structurally sound this dungeon is. You're only warning us about that now? This place is made of cardboard. I didn't know what you expected. Whatever, let's get out of here, Mel. It's made of cardboard, great. Well, first let me equip this sword on Allison. Nice. That is way better than what she had before. 
on. Um... I probably should give her on. Yeah, she doesn't have any weapons, does she? So that's something better. What? Okay, I didn't put a wall here. Well, it's kind of in the way. We just have to find another way out, I guess. Oh, I get it. This is another test for us, isn't it? Very clever, Claire. No, it's not. It. I'm a little freaked out, honestly. I have no idea where that wall came from. You got a lot of tricks up your sleeve. Can't you burn this wall with a fire spell or something? Nope. I fireproofed the dungeon pretty thoroughly so I could catch Scorch without burning the place down. Let's just try to find another exit, like Claire said. There's gotta be a crack in the wall or something. Okay, Mel? I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, there's the exit. It got really eerily quiet. Several minutes ago in Green Ridge. Man, I'm bored. The girls have been down in Allison's basement an awfully long time. I wonder what they're up to. It's probably nothing, right? They would have invited me if they had plans. Maybe I should just go check on... Hmm? Oh, a text from Faith. Grab your armor and meet me at the tower ASAP. It's urgent. Don't tell anyone. Oh dear. This is very foreboding. Danger. This doesn't exactly look like a way out. How did we in even end up in this cave? I mean, there are a lot of caves under Green Ridge, right? Yeah, but we went what? East and south? Shouldn't we be back in the east end of the dungeon? Blair, shouldn't you know where we are? I never found this cave when building the dungeon, so no, I'm not quite sure where we are. Maybe we should turn around before we get lost in a cave. I didn't exactly see any other hall holes in the wall up there. This is kind of our only option. Besides, you two are looking for adventure, right? Let's look on the bright side. What's more adventurous than getting lost in a mysterious cave? Thanks, Claire. This danger sign isn't very reassuring. Oh man, are we? What? What's up? I might know where we are? I have no idea how we ended up here, though. Let's just say I hope I'm wrong. Okay, I actually know where we are. I saw the- <laughs> Let's turn back. What? Why? What is it? Come on, there's a chest right up ahead. We have obligated to open that up as adventurers. It's a... Uh, it's a curse, yeah. An old Galetta family heirloom that's extremely cursed. Mom sealed it away in that treasure chest. You realize that just makes me want to open the chest even more now, right? That chest is booby-trapped. I hope you realize I'm not buying a single word of this. <laughs> Wait, there's something secret in this chest. Should I open it? Hmm, I wonder what it could be. Well, we're actually going to take a quick break, so we'll see what is hidden in this mysterious chest that Allison doesn't want us to look at right afterwards. But don't worry, guys. Hang on tight. We'll be back very shortly. So, see you soon. <laughs> 